All right, let's get you out there this morning. Glad you're with us here. Uh, just about 517 here on this Friday morning and uh, take a look at the week. You know, it was so nice to have those temperatures in the 80s here for so long. We really went almost about 10 day stretch without any 90 degree readings and then out out changed. We thought about it. We knew looking ahead that yeah, this was going to be the case Wednesday, Thursday and now into Friday. We're going back into the mid 90s here this afternoon. So where are we starting from this morning? Mostly low to mid 70s under mainly clear sky. 71 Shelby down to Smyrna, 73 in Belmont, 75 sharp, 72 for Concord, Kannapolis, lower 70s up towards Mooresville and Statesville. For today, hot and humid, no question about that. Welcome to August. We're back into the 90s, even 80s showing up in the mountains and in the Piedmont. There's about a 40% chance of thunderstorms during the daylight hours. Now that actually goes up as we go into the evening. And so, you know, when does the afternoon end and the evening start? Well, these are long days here right in the summer, but you get the idea here. We see at four or five o'clock this line of showers and storms coming in, and I think this will actually continue on into the evening, much like we saw, say, Monday and Tuesday night. And by the way, we're under a level one risk, which is the lowest risk. But nonetheless, we have seen this so many times this summer. Heavy downpours are part of the equation. There could be some strong winds. There'll be plenty of instability because of the heat and humidity building up during the day. So just understand that. Download a free WBTV weather app. You'll be able to keep up with this changing weather situation. And if not today and tonight, certainly over the weekend. Numerous showers and storms, we think, for Saturday. And at least scattered thunderstorms on Sunday, at least about a 60% chance. And you'll notice with more cloud cover and wet weather, the numbers go down closer to 90 tomorrow and probably only upper 80s here on Sunday. Then rain chances are much lower for early next week. So this is sort of what Saturday looks like. Again, notice the showers and storms are mainly during the afternoon, evening hours, but there couldn't be a few showers during the morning. So again, it's not a totally washed out time frame, but you're gonna have to work around this. And likewise on Sunday, we've added a first alert because it looks active. This is more than you would typically see here in the early part of August. So again, we're actually doubling what the normal rainfall risk would be. And by the way, there is this risk for flooding, particularly along in south and east of I-85 for tomorrow. I would just say anywhere in our viewing area, if you get under one of these big downpours, understand that that is going to be a possibility. In the tropics, we're still watching this one little system, and the reason this could be important is that later next week, this will have a, a big impact, we think, on our forecast. Don't think it's coming that close to us, so for the most part, unless that tremend uh, tremendously changes its uh, initial track here, which looks like it'll go south and east of us, we're probably only going to get a brush by with that, and I don't see a lot of rain coming our way from